Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the viewers of my channel And for today, sharing we have uh, going to introduce to you about uh, the multivariate data analysis or we call it chemo matrix for uh, the analysis of food composition Okay, for example, now in the case study here in front of you, the screen is, uh, is showing you about uh, um, food composition okay starting from energy protein carbohydrate fat and saturated fat okay for um, some of McDonald's samples or we call it McDonald's menu so we have here starting from beef burger cheeseburger grilled chicken burger hamburger okay fried chicken burger and until to the uh, um, dessert sunday chocolate sunday strawberry and sunday caramel okay feel hungry okay Never mind, we can go to McDonald's after this. And yeah, McDonald's is halal in Malaysia. So just don't worry. Let's uh, continue studies first, okay? So if you see here, we have uh, like five variables or we call it five parameters. So if you have more than two uh, parameters, generally, if you want to do some analysis, we can start uh, using multivariate data analysis software. Um, to perform the multivariate uh, analysis of these variables so the software that I have here is Excel but uh, with uh, an add-ons we call it XL stat okay you can uh, google to the uh, to www.xlstat.com yeah. so from there you can download uh, this uh, XL stat and as a trial it can it give you a 14 days trial and for student you can purchase a, a yearly license okay i think it's, it's affordable it's like uh one seven zero until 200 ringgit initial okay it's like 50 us dollar so you can have a uh this add-ons to your excel so compared to other softwares this is uh, quite convenient yeah for me but i'm not so sure about others so for this excel stat they offers uh, uh, a variety of uh, features okay data analysis that you can do okay so we have value, uh, value, uh, visualizing data analyzing data modeling data till the end okay you can have a trial version and then you can uh, examine on your own okay so for today we can go uh, to use principal component analysis so it is there principal component analysis for this uh, sharing okay so generally before we start any multivariate analysis uh, analysis there is a suggestion that uh, the data should be uh, standardized or normalized okay but there there is also a studies that uh, say it's not compulsory to do that and it's it's okay to not uh, do the standardization because some uh, study found that standardized data doesn't uh, reflect the actual uh, data okay the, uh, the, the the result that they uh, obtain does not reflect the actual data so that's depend on your preference but in this excel stat they have their built-in uh, standardization or normalization so we just click and then I just want to show you we want to show you uh, what are the results looks like okay so we go to Excel stat and we have the analyzing data so we click principal component analysis here and then a window will appear like this one okay so you just click at the observation and variable tables okay just choose energy level until the data of uh, saturated fat here for sunday caramel okay and then at the observation levels here you just click the mcdonald menu starting from the label okay since we choose uh, to uh, highlight the labels uh, themselves so we have to click yeah tick variable labels as well here yeah? and then for the pca side choose correlation or uh, of pearson for the sl stat uh, there are uh, three ways uh, of pca we have covariance we have correlations pearman but we don't discuss in this video um, uh, for now but for the purpose of sharing uh, and want to know about the result of the pca we focus on correlation of pearson okay 
and then if you go to options this is what I told you about standardization the software already has a built-in standardization menu so we just click okay uh, n minus one why we choose n minus one not n okay and if you have a lot of data which really really resembles uh, or represent the population but since the data that we have is not much okay so it's actually uh, we call it a sample data so this sample data uh, we appoint them as a representative for the whole population so because of that because this is a sample data so that's why we choose n minus one okay and then for supp uh, supplementary data tab you just uh, leave it okay for data options okay um, the concern is about the missing data okay some data uh, you can see that they they have a uh, 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 an unfilled or a vacant uh, data value in the Excel uh, cell so for that case you have to choose remove the observation okay but for this data it's fulfilled complete it's enough it's adequate so you just uh, leave it like do not accept missing data if uh, missing data is present here because if you uh, if the uh, missing data uh, presence the data analysis cannot be executed okay so that's why it's very uh, critical to examine your data first okay and then for outputs you just click everything okay and then for the charts uh, the important part is at the by plot okay you have to click uh, type of by plot choose symmetric by plot and then click ok okay and then click ok okay now you can see there is a small window stated uh, that you have the uh, f1 and f2 okay f1 means principal component one f2 meaning principal component two what is principal component okay number of principal component um, is depend on uh, number of your variables so for this case we have five variables starting from energy into saturated fat so the principal component analysis the pca will create a principal component uh, numbers starting from one until five because we have five variables so this principal component will evaluate your uh, result okay from there uh, they will group your uh, menu in one group which means uh, it, it is uh, the it's already uh, represented by one factor so this factor we call it principal component okay maybe because of factor a this menu is located into one group okay another factor or another principal component uh, or in the principal component to uh, group another uh, another list of mcdonald's menu okay so that because of these uh, uh, factors uh, the principle will represent uh, that factors but we don't know actually what are the, the factors until we examine the uh, individual result okay so in this case you can see that the principal component okay suggests pca uh, principal component one versus is uh, uh, principal component two is the best with 75.99 percent cumulative uh, variability meaning that 75.99 percent of our data are explained in this principal component analysis okay so, just, so and then we just click set uh, select and then we click done okay till then we will continue with the next video okay see you again and see you later we will discuss about the pca result afterwards okay thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh